Okay, the last film I want to talk about um, on my list of, you know, um, horror remakes that I'm unhappy with or not a huge fan of, but they're tolerable. Um, the last one on my list is Salem's Lot, which was a remake of, uh, not a lot of people might not have seen the original. The original came out in 79, 1979, and it was a TV movie just like the remake was. Um, the original starred uh, David Soule as Ben Mears and uh, James Mason as Straker. Um, the remake starred uh, Rob Lowe in the Ben Mears role and then had uh, Donald Sutherland as Straker. It also had some good performances by Rucker Hauer as Barlow and um, as Professor Burke, uh, Andre Brower. Um, so, good cast. Um, the problem for the me with the remake, and this just could be because I've seen the original so many times, I've been to the town where they filmed it, um, I know it by heart, uh, it was one of the first things growing up that ever scared the living daylights out of me. The remake of Salem's Lot was just not scary. Um, I also thought, as much as I like Rob Lowe, I thought he was very bland as Ben Mears, there was nothing interesting about him, um, just a very one note performance. and. Also, I mean, the original was directed by Toby Hooper. I mean, come on, you got Chainsaw Massacre under his belt, and, uh, you know, this is before he did Poltergeist and The Fun House. Um, so, you know, Toby Hooper and then Mikhail Solomon doing the remake, just completely different look. It just, yeah, it just, and I think it, the, it all comes down to suspense. The original had a lot of suspense, very terrifying images. If people have not seen the original, I de definitely recommend you renting it, um, going on Netflix or trying to find it because it is definitely worth a watch. It's a little slow building, but once it gets going, it's the music and everything in the original is so great. And this one, just being a big fan of that original Salem's Lot, this one just could not hold a candle to it. There are some good themes in this one. I have read the novel. They do explore a few more themes in this one than they had the ability to do back in 79. Um, but uh, still, just a, another one that was unnecessary in my opinion. So I'm just going to leave it at that for Salem's Lot. Um, the last thing I want to talk about, and this is something I talked about um, earlier, um, is that I want to talk about some remakes that I've heard they're going to be doing and my thoughts on them. So number one, I've heard a rumor that they are going to be doing an American Werewolf in London remake. I am not real happy about this. Uh, the original American World, I mean, the American World in London is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's, it's it's a great film, scary film. Um, doesn't need to be touched. Um, the same thoughts are for the next one, which is The Birds by Alfred Hitchcock. I mean, we've already seen how they can screw up a movie like Psycho. Don't touch the birds, please. Um, I think Platinum Dunes was originally going to do that, and now they're not. They're sort of veering away from the horror genre, and I think they're doing a Ninja Turtles movie next or something like that. So they're um, they're not going to be doing that one, so I'm hoping, hoping that because of that, the idea kind of died along with it. Um, Pet Cemetery. there's still a rumor that Pet Cemetery is going to be done, that the writer of 1408, which was another Stephen King adaption, actually a really good Stephen King adaption, is going to be doing it, but... Again, why remake a great film? Pet Cemetery was adapted for the screen by Stephen King himself. Why remake that? It's already perfect. It was it has the writer the writer who wrote the book did the screenplay. Let it be. Good film. Um, just heard that Flatliners is going to be redone. Don't really have a big problem with this one. Um, I like the original Flatliners, but it's a concept that I could see working again. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, the final one I'm going to talk about is Monster Squad. You can't do Monster Squad now. Uh, films in the 80s were able to tackle some of the heavier handed stuff that... I mean, Monster Squad is not a kid's movie. Um, but a lot of kids went and saw it. You know, as, the, as, as I grew up, I saw it, you know, on, on tape, <laughs> dating myself again. But, you know, I don't think they should redo this. And this was something Platinum Dunes was going to do as well. But the original is fine. Just let it be. You know, kids aren't like... The, the, that that movie is very much a product of the 80s and I don't think it would work nowadays I just don't so thanks all for watching this um, hope you guys have a little bit more insight into you know how I feel about some of these remakes that are coming out and some of the ones that have come out and that I wish wouldn't have um, as I said my list is very small um, most of the time I, I like some of the stuff that's been put out but the ones that I've touched upon particularly Psycho I just wish never it existed so feel free to comment uh, appreciate all the feedback and uh, I'll talk to you guys shortly <laughs>